So I recently just got the Kiss Ultra. Uh, however, I do not have any uh, Fat Tech or Kiss ESCs. Well, the new Kiss Ultras come with a BL Heli pass through. So in the case that you want to use something like a BL Heli a stack, right? BLS somewhere. Um, you can. So basically what you do, you get your whatever wiring diagram you have of your flight controller, Kiss Ultra FCFC, and is that you get the wiring diagram on the other side, right? And then you look at the pin readouts. Let's see if I can zoom in here. Yeah, see, the, this are the pin readouts of the, of the ESC. And then this is how you wire them. Now, so ground, you can see it goes to ground over here, VBAT. Then we go to VBAT over here. And then you have the four motor wires. So S1, M1, S2, M2, so on and so forth. And S4 to M4. One thing to note is that uh, BL Heli motor orientation, or at least a better flight, beta flight motor orientation is different from uh, KISS. So you just need to go into the KISS configurator and then later on you will change it so that the orientation would match, okay? And then RX-6 is actually telemetry, like over here, telemetry, and RX-6 goes to TLM. So you just draw this out. Mm. Let's make it very clear. There you go. Now there's there's two weird things about the, the KISS uh, flight controller, right? There's an additional ground, but there's no additional ground here. Um, on, on Discord, uh, even Alex Fedorov says that you just ignore it. Uh, now the current sensor, however, you can actually wire the current sensor to the CC pad, right? The CC pad, this is for camera control. Um, you wire it to the camera control, but then you must remember, you must go into the configurator and then you must specify that the camera control pad will be used for analog current sensing. Right, so now I have a plan, right? I'm going to go wire this according to this diagram over here, right? Like you see, I'm going to wire it as according to this diagram. Uh, all you need is, of course, uh, whatever, whatever you have, right? The ones, especially you need the ones with the pins over here. Just remember, you see, the way that I usually wire things is that I wire them with the opening facing up. Right? The reason why I wire it with the opening facing up so that I can see when the pins actually go in and, and, and meet to the end so I can't take it out. Now, the issue is, is that when you insert this thing into the flight controller, you see you insert it, the pins are facing down. They're not facing up, they're facing down, right? So you see, this is, a, this is a good insert. So if you lay the flight controller on top of your diagram like this, please be aware when you're pinning, if you're pinning it with the pins facing up, that means this whole layout is completely reversed. And I'll show you in a little bit. All you need in order to repin well, the JSC plug is a pair of uh, very sharp tweezers. And I like sharp ones because I can actually get in there and then push it in to ensure that it's a nice fit. Okay, so first thing first, Usually, I would want to repin the most bottom or, or the most top because I know which one they are. It's easiest to do when you have something with color uh, and it's quite distinguishable. Distinguishable, and that would be V band. Okay, so I will take the red plug. I will take the red plug. Come on, red plug. Now I, and I'm gonna put it on the either the top, bottom, or top left. Now I'm gonna figure it out because the pins go in this way. That means. It's this guy over here, okay? Oops. This guy over here. That means it's on the one over here. Okay. Ta da! First one done. Next will be ground, so it's the black wire. The black wire. And then you just, just work your way through, right? Work your way up or down or through the pins. Just push them in. And you know they're in tight when you try and pull them out, give a little tug, they don't come out so easily. Okay, so S1, which is the first motor wire on this side, actually goes to all the way to the top. So all the way to the top here, all right? It doesn't go right after the ground. There you go. Okay. 
and the next one S2 will be M2. So I've done VBAT ground, mm -hmm. done VBAT ground, uh, motor one, two, three, four, and then now I've got to do telemetry. And then, like I said before, telemetry is actually the blue wire. Yeah, okay. All right, so there you go. This is the plug. Okay, this plug will plug directly from the ESC like so so what you're gonna do you're gonna take the pins you're gonna find the pins with especially with the one with the extra one wire because they're not pinned to to the the one on the fc side you're gonna pin it to the the esc side uh, esc side okay and then this one the one with the one mt jsc pin this is just gonna go into the oh, sorry wrong way to the flight controller uh, there you go there you go and then this extra then let's say for example you fit it down this extra this extra wire you're going to solder it to the cc pad so the cc pad will be here All right solder it so that is how you create a jc plug and rewire and repin to fit a bl heli uh type of esc for your kiss ultra fcfc i hope this has been helpful um it certainly would have been helpful for me if i saw something like this on youtube uh if you like this kind of stuff do give me a like comment or subscribe it really helps me out um i hope you're flying wherever you are thanks